Creativity is not about branding. It's not about advertising. It's about your core business, about your car business. So how do you do that? What are a couple of you know, takeaways I'll try to give you about how you might become a little bit more creative. First of all, I think the most essential part is you need to get off of autopilot, okay? You gotta be open to new ideas. It's really the same sort of thing as, you know, you shouldn't go to work the same way every day, okay? Get off of autopilot. See different things. Look for different things. Don't read the same stuff. Get out there and read different things. Don't read just, you know, Time Magazine or whatever magazine you're reading. Get Ebony or Jet or whatever other cross-cultural things to get new and different ideas just from leafing through and reading some of the articles, looking at the ads, being open and to new ideas. And encourage your employees to do exactly the same thing. Number two is it's all about one of the dilemmas that we have is we are so, um, so judgmental. And we're so judgmental about ourselves even, okay? And we're worried about what others think about that we're not free to be open and creative about new ideas. In, for, in, in fact, we're afraid that people will think you're sort of nutty about having that idea. You've got to try to encourage that kind of nuttiness in your organizations. You're all looking at me like I'm crazy, okay? But I'm telling you, this is where the future lies for the success of your organizations is in all this entire creative, um, creative element. You gotta stop worrying about what others think. And speaking of think, um, one of the worst words I think, or worst phrases is, let me think about it. How many of you ever used let me think about it? Okay. If you use let me think about it, I'll tell you what happens, is you start right away moving to totally thinking, and it's not then about trying and seeing new different ways. Instead, why don't you try, there's like in other cultures, there's not a phrase for let me think about it. In other cultures, there's a thing called try see, okay? Just take a little bit of action to see if it makes any sense, instead of going let me think about it. Because then what happens is it starts to go into your logical thinking process, and lo and behold, it'll die. It will die. So you need to really encourage your people as well to try C. Doesn't mean you have to invest a lot of money. Just try things and it, it start the action to see if it has any potential legs or not. Um, the other big one is, because we are so afraid of failure. And why? Again, it's, that's what we're taught. If you get the wrong answer, you fail. You get an F, right? You don't get into college because you got the wrong answer on the SAT exam, okay? That is not what creativity is about. Creativity is really about a lot of failure. It's taking risks and embracing failure, not not um, punishing people for failure. So you really, if you really want to be an, an institution that is thinking, quote unquote, outside the box, you really need to learn how to embrace failure and encourage that among your employees. And that is not easy. That's probably the toughest thing to get over because everyone has been taught that failure is a very, very dirty thing to have happen. And if they fail, they're gonna get fired. Instead, if they fail, they ought to be promoted. Okay? If they fail, they ought to be promoted. Not all the time. <laughs> because the problem is that they don't feel free to be able to think freely, okay? I mean, that's what happens. Because there's, you know, they, you ought to have some sense of safety. There's a safety net for those who do um, things differently.